Hello, good evening everyone and uh, welcome to this evening's uh, free session on the basics of forex trading. Uh, my name is Dr. Derby Banjok of DKB Markets and uh, I'll be introducing you shortly to DKB Markets and myself and then we'll be talking about what is required or what is needed for you to become a successful trader trading the forex market and also why the forex market is the best market to trade. Uh, but before we kick off, uh, very important, I'll just discuss with you the disclaimer. Uh, the disclaimer obviously is just to let you know that obviously trading uh, is a leveraged uh, instrument and it carries a significant level of risk, so it might not be suitable for all investors because there's leverage involved, there's risk involved, so you could lose money. And what I am going to discuss with you this evening is purely for educational purposes, uh, just to educate you, give you some foundation and some knowledge about the market and how to trade successfully. Uh, but by no means am I giving you any recommendations, no guarantees in terms of what you're going to do. So this content is just for informational purposes only. And, uh, you know, you have to be fully aware that whatever risk you take, you have to be responsible for your own decisions and for the risk you take. So that's just a disclaimer warning you that uh, uh, this is a, a high risk level of uh, trading which you need to be very careful and wary about. And uh, this is just purely an informational only uh, seminar. And uh, you know, if you need further training and further advice, you need to seek that in order to make uh, wise decisions in the markets. Okay, so that's just a disclaimer. Now the question is, who am I? And who am I talking to you today about the financial markets and trading in the markets? Uh, my name is uh, Jeremy Bajo, I'm one of the brothers of the markets. Uh, I'm a trader and an investor uh, in the financial markets. I trade myself and I've invested over, for over 15 years in the markets, uh, so I have uh, a vast experience in that and I've also been conducting trading and investing seminars and workshops uh, in UK, USA, Nigeria, Rwanda and Ghana and I'm also a guest lecturer at the PASS Business School in London uh, where I teach undergraduates and MSc students on alternative investment management. Uh, so basically um, when I teach you how to trade or when I teach people how to trade, I teach them out of experience and I haven't, and still I'm a trader, so I'm teaching you from experience, so it's not from a textbook and most of what I teach you won't find in a textbook, so it's from experience and I always advise people and clients that if you're going to learn how to trade, it's very important you learn from an active trader and not someone who's never traded, because you do have people out there who teach people how to call they teach people how to trade, but they've never traded themselves. So it's very important, you know, when you're learning how to trade, to trade from someone who's actually trading the market, which is what I do. So uh, hence why I'm introducing myself. And like I said also, I'm a direct, one of the directors of DKB Markets, which is a global online brokerage company, uh, which we partner with uh, industry professional traders and platform providers who operate in London, Europe, and Australia. But the main focus of the company is to provide a dedicated service in Africa and in particular Nigeria and also East Africa. And we're also looking to train and mentor traders in Nigeria, East Africa and eventually across Africa. So that's who I am. And, uh, you know, DKB Markets, like to say, uh, we're an online forex broker. Uh, so we give you the access to the market to trade the forex market. But also, you can also trade equities, uh, global equities, and commodities on the platform too. Uh, so apart from providing you the platform to trade on, we also increase awareness and online forex trading. And we put a lot of focus on education and mentoring. And the whole aim is to empower you and help you trade yourself to financial freedom. So we do seminars and workshops, live and online like you have today. Uh, we also have a two-day Forex uh, trading masterclass, which is followed by online mentoring. 
and we also provide the online trading platform, like I said, and we provide local account funding and withdrawal for clients. And we also provide managed accounts for clients who've got the money but haven't got the time to trade. Uh, so what we want you to do is to register for online webinars, which we do uh, fortnightly. So you can register for the free webinars. Uh, you can also like us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash DKB Markets. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, but also open the practice account or live account and just spread the word about uh, DKB Markets. Okay. So that's, that's our website, our email, our contact details. So you can contact us by info at dkbmarkets.com and our Facebook page or uh, Twitter. Okay, so today, like I said, we'll be talking about the basics of uh, the Forex market, you know, what it takes uh, for you to be a successful trader and also why, you know, the Forex market is the best market to trade compared to the uh, other financial markets that you can trade. But before we start, it's very, very important we uh, emphasize the importance or the difference between trading and investing. And that's a big problem that most people have with the financial markets. They don't separate trading from investing because trading is, there's a big difference between trading and investing. Now, trading is short term, so you're just getting in and out of the market. So trading, you know, you're trying to get your profit or gains uh, within a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, a couple of weeks, or sometimes a couple of months, but it's you know, extremely short term. So trading is short term, whereas investing is long term. So investing is usually for retirement. You're looking at 10, 20 years down the line. So trading is short term. You know, you're getting in and out of the market quickly. And then investing is long term. You're looking at 10 to 20 years down the line, and that's for uh, retirement. So, you know, the mentality you have as a trader is completely different from the mentality of an investor. And obviously, the trading uh, plan or the trading concepts or how you approach the market as a trader is completely different of how you approach the market as a trade as an investor. So, a trader and investor completely separate concepts and mindsets for that. Okay? So, very, very important that you realize that. And we all know Warren Buffet. Warren Buffet is the richest investor in the world. Uh, he's actually, I think, about the fourth richest man in the world, and he made his entire from investing in the financial markets. And I love this quote from Warren Buffet where he says, risk comes from not knowing what you are doing. Because we've all heard about horror stories in the financial markets. We've heard about people losing money. You know, anyone that you talk to about the markets, the first thing they tell you is always risky and, you know, you can lose a lot of money. Which is true, but the vast majority of the reason why this happens is because the vast majority of people who get into the financial markets do not know what they're doing. And because they do not know what they're doing, that's why most people lose money. So that's why risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. But you find that once you have a good foundation and you understand the markets and you know what you're doing, it's not as risky as people make it out to be. So what are the financial markets? I mean, we all talk about the financial markets, the financial markets. So what exactly is this thing called the financial markets? Now, the financial market comprises of four major components. Four major components comprise financial markets. You have the fixed income. So that's one major part of financial markets. So the fixed income securities market is comprises of bonds and treasury bills. So bonds and treasury bills comprise the fixed income securities market. Then you also have the stock market, or some people call it the equities market or securities market. They all sound they're all the same same terminology, uh, terminology for the same thing. So it could either be the equities market, the stock market, or securities market. It's a bit of shit. Uh, so that's another big part of the financial market is the stock market. And you have the market, the price market. And then the final one is the commodities market, in a way you have like oil, gold, coffee, wheat, and you know, commodities, that's commodities market. So there's four different markets, what I call the financial market. So you have the stock market, 
currency market, the forex market, and the commodities market. So these are the four major markets that comprise the financial markets, and they're separate. They're different markets with different characteristics. And it's very important you realize that they're separate markets in themselves. Now, the other important reason of now differentiating these different financial markets because it also helps you assess the risk you're taking when you now approach one of these markets. Now, if you're someone who has a low risk appetite, you're adverse to risk, you don't want to take any risk. So if you want to invest in the financial markets and you're looking for low risk, then you will go for the fixed income securities market. So the fixed income securities market is the only one that will give you very low risk. So they're looking at then investing in bonds and treasury bills. So that's the low risk uh, market, the fixed income. Now for medium risk, you're now looking at long-term investment in the stock market. And the key word there is long-term investment in the stock market. So long-term investment in the stock market is medium risk. Uh, it's a little riskier than the low risk, but it's not as risky as trading, the final risk. So when you come to high risk, that's now trading the forex or commodities market. So as you can see, there's the importance of you now separating different components of the financial markets. Because if you're looking at the fixed equities market, that's low risk. If you're looking at long-term investing in the stock market, that's medium risk. If you're looking at trading, then you're looking at the forex and the commodities market, and that's high risk. So basically what we're going to be discussing today, the basics of uh, trading is high risk trading. And obviously, high risk means there's a risk of you losing money. But again, if you learn how to trade money, and then the basics, well, uh, you'll be able to manage this risk and be a successful trader. So what are the basics of trading? There are rules to trading, like any other thing or any other game, you need to learn the rules and know, otherwise without the rules you will fail miserably. Also trading may involve heavy losses, as we said, it's a high risk of trading may heavy losses, which must be minimized from the development of your mindset. So your mindset and your psychology is very important in the successful trade. To be successful trade in financial markets, you must possess what we call the three M's. And note what I said, I'm talking about you being a successful trader in the financial market. So basically you can trade any of those financial markets, but you need to apply the same principle regardless of what market you're trading, whether it's a commodities market, the foreign exchange market, the stock market, the fixed income securities market. Whatever market you're trading, again I'm not talking investing, we're talking trading now in this presentation. So when you're trading, regardless of what market you're trading, you need to possess what we call the three M's. Because if you apply the three M's to every single trade you place, your success as a trader is guaranteed. If you miss one M out in your trading, then you're definitely going to fail as a trader and you're definitely going to lose money. So I'll repeat, this is very important. If you apply the three M's to every single trade you place, you're guaranteed to be successful as a trader. But if you miss one M out, you're guaranteed to fail as a trader. So you can see it's very important that you must apply all the three M's to every trade you place if you want to be a successful trader in the financial market. So what are the three M's? And these are the three M's. Mind, money management, and method. Those are the three M's that will you know, guarantee your success as a trader. And you need to apply all three to every single trade you place. The most important M is the mind. You know, over 90% of the success is on your mind. So a disciplined mind is an absolute requirement for successful trading. And the proper terminology for the mind is trading psychology. So that was the proper terminology for the mind part of these three M's, is trading psychology. And you find that, you know, the two biggest emotions that can severely affect your trading or your success as a trader are the emotions of fear and greed. 
fear and greed are the two biggest emotions that leads to people not being successful as traders. Obviously, greed means, you know, you get greedy, you take unnecessary risks, you don't apply good money management, and you take unwarranted risk and blow your money. So that's just down to greed. Obviously, fear, your fear of losing will then make you freeze and not place trades, and if you don't place any trades, you can't be successful. So those are the two biggest emotions that can affect trading. All the emotions can affect trading, you know, distraction, you know, anything that can cut your joint. And, not, and prevents you being objective can have a huge impact, mostly negative impact, on your trading. So the mind, the first M, absolute requirement for your success. The next M is the money management, which is, you know, as closely important to your success as mind. Because without good money management, you're definitely not going to succeed. You need to know how to manage your money as a trader assess your risk and limit your risk. So money management is possibly the most important factor in trading because the first goal of money management is survival. You need to avoid risk that will put you out of business. Like I always say, you know, on, under no circumstances there should be, never, the occasion should never arise whereby you lose your entire capital on one trade. So you should never risk your whole capital on one trade. So you need to survive to trade the next day. So your first goal of money management is five. The second goal is to earn a steady return, and the third is to improve that. And you know, money management itself is a huge topic, very important topic in trading. And uh, we'll cover that in weeks to come. So money management and mind, very, very crucial in your success as a trader. The third M is a method. So you must have a plan of how you're going to approach the market or a methodology to your trading, and it should not be based on tips from friends. It shouldn't be based on hunches of how you feel or visions or dreams. You know, as a trader, you have to have an objective method of how you approach the market. You have to have a written-out plan or method or strategy of how you're going to approach the market, and you need to be consistent and stick to that plan. So you have to have a method. You don't just take pot shots at the market or throw darts at the market. You need to have a well-considered plan and stick to that plan. So these are the three M's that will make you successful as a trader and you need to apply them to all your trades. Obviously each of these M's are uh, a huge topic on their own and uh, We'll tend to cover them in our master classes and our live seminars. Uh, but we also cover some of them on the online seminars. So do register to receive emails from us on our database and you'll be able to be contacted uh, with our subsequent online seminars. So the three M's, absolutely crucial to your success trader. Now, we said earlier, you know, the financial markets comprise of the fixed income securities market, the stock market, the commodities market, and also the currency market. But what's the market for market that is the preferred market to trade? Now, there are lots of advantages to trade in the FX market. One is a very large market. So you've got huge diversification of the market because if you trade, you know, currencies from different countries, as from Switzerland to Australia to Japan to UK, to uh, uh, USA, so there's a lot of diversification uh, trade in the market, and obviously it's a global market, so it's not you just trading a local market, it's uh, a market that is more difficult to manipulate, uh, because it, being a global market, a huge global market is actually very difficult to manipulate. Uh, compared to other markets, because the commodities market, the stock market, and the bond market, the private market, they're very difficult to manipulate. So that's another big advantage of trading the forex market. The other advantage of trading the forex market is that you can trade it 24 hours a day. Uh, so the, the forex market is open from Sunday night all the way through to Friday night. So it's open 24-5. So there isn't an opening or closing time uh, during the week of trading the forex market. You can also trade the market electronically, which is a huge advantage. So you don't need 
uh, to keep ringing your broker or ringing anyone for the chicken trade first electronically. This is where DKB Market come in. We provide you the platform uh, that gives you the access to messages electronically, on the home, the laptop, your iPad, your iPhone, a message and credit for a trade effects of the trade. It's a huge limit. We're going to talk about it. It's a limit. 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 It's a market that is traded on leverage. Uh, obviously, you have to remember that although leverage can enhance your profits, they can also enhance your losses. So you can you have to remember that leverage works both ways. The forex market is relatively simple to trade compared to the other markets, and it's a good technical market. You know, due to the volume uh, of the analyze the forex market and test the forex sections of uh, on that. So technical analysis and uh, chart reading for the forex market is easier. Um, they're easier to read, they're easier to take decisions on compared to other markets. So it's a good technical market. So you can see for all this forex market, uh, the market for traders. Now we'll get some background for FX trading, uh, where it's come from and what's here, this uh, FX trading. Uh, remember that there is no single exchange like this market. You know, looking at the qualities of the exchange, what's going on the exchange, the stock market, the stock market, there's no central exchange for the control, no central exchange. It just functions through a global networks of banks, corporations, and individuals trading one currency for another. So again, this is why it's a difficult market, almost impossible market to manipulate. FX is a country, so that's what the FX market was mainly, uh, you know, device for the average big coffee, but find the big coffee is what's going on with the business on the product. This will form the last exchange, the separation of power and credit dealing. Now, you know, you have more than four trillion dollars a day, that's a lot. Each of four trillion dollars traded a day, you have to market. You have to market the fixed interest market, stock market, commodities market, you have to market the most market. And again, this is why it's easy to trade this market, easy to draw the public. So, when you talk about FX trading or currency trading or forex trading, you're not trading, you're not buying a single currency. So, you're not buying and selling dollar on its own or pound. What you do is you're trading one type of currency for another in what's called a currency pair. So, FX is a two dimensional. So, FX trading or forex trading is two dimensional. Let's say, you know, this two-dimensional product is quoted as a price of one currency against another. This is very crucial if you're new for trading to know that you always trade currencies in pairs. And that's what they call currency pairs. So FX is a two-dimensional product. Quoted as one, the price of one currency against another. Now, when you see a currency pair and you say, hold, the base currency is all quoted. And this has a cost of one. So the base currency is always So like I said, the base currency is always quoted first. And this has a constant of one. And it's based currently as you're buying or selling. Okay? Very important. Now, this is an example here. So, this is an example. Here. So, you can see here, it's Euro, US. So, you can see that's how they always quote the case like that. And you can see Euro quoted first. So, that's based currency. So, first. So, Euro quoted first. So that's based currency. So, that's comes to one. So, the currency appears. So, the equation bit this point here to be one Euro by 1.2 US dollars. So, remember, base currency first. So, that's Euro first. And also has a constant of one. And this is very successful. I want to buy this from here. It will be very important. Uh, the other thing to note of importance in forex pips. In, first, in the forex trading on the forex market, the increment of making this, which means percentage imps. It means percentage imps. And this is how the F market increments are made. A pip is for digit. All currency pairs. It's a four digit. All currency pairs. Except for the 20 cent cross. So any currency pip that this year is a second digit. So for all currency pairs, so long as it's not within the currency pair, a pip is the fourth digit. But once you have yen in that currency pair, a pip is the second digit. Again, it's not all currency pairs. The yen is not among the currency pairs. So for all currency pairs, when you hit the currency pair, and this example, a pip fourth digit. So one, two, three, four. So you start counting your pips from the fourth digit. And then once you have yen in that currency pair, the second digit, the currency comes from the second digit. Okay, so that's the basic of forex trading, and uh, like I said, remember that one thing that applies to all you make a successful trader, and uh, you know, you, these are the ways you can contact us for sites of Twitter, and also register to our database, so you can get sessions of subsequent uh, online webinars, and also the live sessions, so you can learn for more on daily. Okay, so if you have any questions.